Do not enter signs make me want to enter. I guess that's my rebellious nature, and sometimes it pops up. Yet I know these signs are there for a reason. For example, there could be something dangerous down the street or past the gate, so I run a risk if I disobey the do not enter sign. Maybe someone posts that do not enter sign because they want privacy. They don't want anyone bothering them. If they want to interact with someone, they're going to initiate the interaction. And if I don't heed the sign, I'm crossing a boundary that somebody else put in place. I think there are do not enter signs in marriage. And let's look at two. First, I'm married to Nancy and have been since I was 22. Do not enter signs need to surround my marriage. they are places I don't need to go because they're dangerous for my marriage. Flirting with another woman, looking at pornography, having a meal or coffee with a woman alone, and going to strip clubs are all do not enters, and there are many more. The ones I listed are the ones I see guys go past all the time, and they all lead to something that is very dangerous for your marriage. The bottom line is just don't go there. Violating the do not enter sign will never get you to an awesome marriage. The second do not enter sign in marriage has to do with respecting your spouse. Let me give you a couple of examples. If you've been in an argument and your spouse needs time to think things through, give them the time. If your spouse says not tonight, how about tomorrow? Respect the request. You get the idea. Listen to your spouse and respect what they ask of you. Do that for them and the odds are good they will return the favor to you. Let me ask you this question. What are the do not enter signs you need to obey and respect in your marriage?